okay? Like I have random rocks. Why do I have rocks in my art room? Hey friends, happy 2024. My name is Emma LaFave and today I am doing my first video of the year um, where I'm cleaning my office. And I don't really know how I'm going to go about this. I Someone said, oh, I'd love to hear your organizing tips. I don't have many. I am probably one of the least organized, messiest people ever. I mean, you can't really tell the extent of it right now, but if you saw my desk, and you saw everything on the floor. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you. It's just no secrets here, okay? Like I have random rocks. Why do I have rocks in my art room? Tell me that. So there's my computer, hi. Um, yeah, just stuff that I've pulled out of my drawers. Like it's, this is going away, this bin of stuff. This is a donation bin to my son's classroom, but I'm trying. <laughs> to figure out what I'm going to do with all this. And honestly, I have no flipping clue. Um, so what I've started by doing, because my husband and I talked about it, we kind of wanted this more to look more like a set rather than to just serve a storage purpose. So I have a big bin here of all the stuff that I pulled out of my lower bins um, to put away because to be honest, they've been in there for the past couple of years and I, I, I rarely open those bins. So that stuff needs to go somewhere else. And then all the stuff that's been cluttered here need to go in the bins. So I've actually done the first couple of bins down this way, all of my paper. So I have like these file folders. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? See file folder, file folder. I'm not taking it all out. Um, I have file folders and now it's stuck. Um, I have file folders of sketchbooks that are not completed and then a file folder of loose watercolor paper and then a file folder of like watercolor pads and blocks to be used. So all my paper that I'm going to be using that I need easy access to is right here. And then all my sketchbooks that I've used over the years that are completed are down below and hidden. Um, as for stuff that I use kind of often, I still have drawers to go through, but I have some watercolor, some acrylic, my brushes, all of that kind of right there. My Caran d'Ache watercolor crayons, watercolor pencils here. And then I want both, I have two shelves of books that I kind of want to put in the center so they look a bit more symmetrical. And then I also want to display my boxes because they look nice. They're not going to go like that, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, I'm tackling this today. And then I'm going to have to tackle that another day. I'm scared to open my drawers too, because they were, I don't know if you guys saw, when I moved in, I believe I did an organizing video in January. And I went through my drawers and I organized them and they have labels. So I'm going to have to reorganize them because in the past few years, I've accumulated a lot of supplies. So that is my biggest challenge is, is I just have too much stuff. So I'm donating a bunch to like friends and family and people in the neighborhood, classrooms and stuff like that. Uh, so now I just have to go through it and hopefully not lose my mind. But seriously, like rocks. I will say I do have kids, obviously. So that's probably why I have rocks in here. But that, that is the, the gist of what I'm doing today. Okay, and we're done. Um, so I was planning on doing like a time lapse of me cleaning. Guess who forgot to press record? Me. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the finished, the finished product of my cleaner room. I only did the shelf behind me. I didn't get to my drawers just because I can't tackle those just yet, even though they need to be tackled. Um, but this was really bugging me. This was bugging me. Um, I still need to actually like wash my desk because, you know, paint has happened here. Um, but so far, you know, it's, it's a better, cleaner space. And for 2024, you know, this is what I needed. I needed a new, you know, fresh kind of start. So that that was that. So let me take you on a little tour of the shelf behind me so you can see kind of what I did. 
Okay, so to start, I have my boxes over here and I have a bunch of candles. Um, <laughs> I don't know where else to put things. I have this kind of metal file folder here that actually have all my illustrations from the boxes that I worked on, which eventually I'm going to have to organize and put somewhere, but I, I don't know where else to put them. So then I have my books all here. They're not organized by anything special. Um, they're just thrown there. Maybe one day I'll organize them to look a little bit better. Fake plant because I've killed all my real ones. Um, some of the other boxes, my color cubes. Up top, I just cleaned it off. Just some art pieces and a couple of Bob Ross things and photos. <laughs> and then here I have my Caran d'Ache watercolor uh, pastels, my watercolor pencil crayons, some gouache and other pastels. And then in here, I can't remember what I put in there. I think it is just some more paint. And then I have some more brushes here. You're gonna see how many brushes I have. It's actually ridiculous. So I have a bunch of my brushes that I use more often ones I use less often, and then my ceramic palettes there. Um, I have some of my Sarah Burns boxes that I got a sneak peek of in that area there. And so people always ask me, how do you store your artwork? This is it guys, in bins, in bins, my laminator, paper cutter. <laughs> like honestly, there's artwork back from years and years, but uh, yeah, that's, that's how I store it. No special way at all. And then, I have some more loose watercolor tubes in these and some acrylics and then just some keepsakes and stuff I have in there. Then I have my file folders. I have two different things of file folders. I have just some brushes and just things where I couldn't figure out where to put them. Some paper, some extra palettes. And then here I have all of my sketchbooks that need to still be used loose paper and some sketchbooks that need to be used and then pads of brand new paper um, that also need to be used and then down here is just extra storage so I have all my old sketchbooks that are done in there I have just a bunch of other random stuff in there uh, garbage and then just random stuff to be honest so I still have a lot to do I have to go through these drawers like there's just I am a hoarder mess of a person I'm not a hoarder but I I'm a mess of a person and I actually put some nope just messy I, I lied <laughs> and then same here so these are all my watercolor palettes that I need to go through and then books and journals random stuff. I still need to go through these, but I don't think I can tackle it today. And then obviously just my wall of photos and stuff, family pictures, my custom keyboards that my husband has built me, some pens, and then on my desk, my paper towel, my brushes that I use most often. I'm about to shoot a live with these palettes, so that's why they're there. And then my planner, coffee, water, and I tried to just keep it minimal here, but yeah. So that was my very quick kind of little tour of my organization. Is it organized? I don't really know. It's something. It's it's better than it was. Like I have random rocks. Why do I have rocks in my art room? So um, yeah, but I feel pretty good about it. So I hope you guys can start off the year kind of organizing your stuff. Like I showed you, I don't really have any amazing tips for storage for your paintings. Like they're all in in bins. Um, I've never had them like in archival kind of folders where they're just going to last forever. They're, they're just in bins. So when people ask me, where do you store your stuff? In bins. <laughs> so that's how I do it. But I hope there was a little bit of insight to that. Um, most of my brushes, I always keep like upright, handle down. Um, in a cup after they've dried. I don't do it when they're wet just because you want to take care of your stuff. So do it when they're dried, but they should be fine. And I think, I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you in our next, hopefully a tutorial, um, of the year. So have a great day. Bye.